I want to first of all talk about incident management and then how transport makes it easier for, you know, of course, DevOps teams to kind of not get overwhelmed with all the alerts and notifications. Oh, I love this question. The one thing I'll say about me is uh, pretty passionate about certain parts of this. So great question, and I appreciate you asking it. But one of the things that I really love is the concept of automation in a way that prevents that fatigue. A, if I take the first step to get contextual information and potentially take a resolution step before I get started with something, I don't need to be paged. It's the beauty of that, that system. I can imagine a world where X goes wrong and Y is the first step that any on-call engineer is ever going to take. And step Y could be done by anybody in the company with an automation platform that handles that authentication. That on-call presence is only required when that fails. And I really like the idea of that. Um, you know, in, in my life, in my previous life, it's, it's what I strived for is like, how many times do I page someone just for them to be able to do something that I could have done autom uh, automatically or with automation? And so I like the idea of thinking alert, signal, service, what is the, what is the outcome of that? Or, or what is the, the thing that I can impact before I'm required to join that, that ongoing incident or that alert resolution. So it's technically why we're bringing, you know, on call into our solution. If you are, we want to page you when automation fails, right? And, and if it's not automation failing, it's bringing that context, bring context to the thing I'm being paged for. If I'm going to do steps one through five, do step one, one through five for me. So I like that.